Hello guys, uh, this is part 20 of ASP.NET MVC series. Uh, I am Yasser and today we will be learning how can we add foreign keys using code first approach in ASP.NET MVC. So to add foreign key to some table or like some class because we are using code first approach, we need to set these properties like if we are in student class if you are following my previous videos uh, if we want to add foreign key in student class that is st uh, student uh, st every student must have some uh, user account or some login or user id so for that we will have to reference the user id as foreign key in the student table so to achieve that we will have to add uh, these two properties and uh, this attribute must be added before the uh, this property and when you will be adding the foreign key you will have to use this namespace otherwise this will not work as expected so let's quickly flip to visual studio and understand uh, what we want to achieve so like here is the student class and now we want that this student must have some uh, user id in other words it have it must have uh, some user account so for that reason we have to uh, reference this id user id in student table for that uh, we go to the student class and we set the uh, these properties here to apply the foreign key here so I just uh, I have already typed in the code let's bring in the namespace using system dot component model dot data integration dot schema namespace and this string must be same as the property name here like we make a property here of type int because user id in the user table is of type int Be we are going to reference this in student table so that's why we are going to create it as int so we are making it nullable because if you have already saved some records in uh, student table this will not allow you to create uh, some uh, property because it will throw error that cannot insert nulls so for that reason i have already make it null nullable so again you are going to add this property public virtual user and this is the property name and you have to add this property and this must match with this user id so that's it now we just need to add migration and update the database or you can directly update the database if you have set the two properties like we discussed in the previous videos if you have not watched those video you can watch that and those videos and understand what do, does these properties do so let's quickly add the migration add migration foreign key added <coughs> let's uh, see what the up method uh, uh, prepares it may take a while please uh, be patient so it's matching over student class uh, object with our database class object to verify what changes have been made let's uh, expand it as we have our database dbc as connected with this project for some reason it's uh, not responding let's take a while so 
okay guys let's expand expand the tables and uh, let's see what's there in the student table before we update the database I think the migration now is added let me expand it as well now you can see <coughs> that the up method is doing what it's adding a user ID in uh, students table and it's creating index on that because foreign key is also an index and again let's uh, look at the students table because we have not updated yet uh, so the foreign key is not yet uh, updated in the database let's quickly update the database the changes must be reflected to the student table because we are altering some properties in student class in our model classes so when it's uh, done we have to refresh the student table and see whether the foreign key added is added or not <coughs> let's refresh it <coughs> let's refresh and check whether that is added or not here it here is that so let's open the table definition to see whether this user id is a foreign key or something so that can be clearly understood when we open the table definition for this table so let's wait a while for when the table definition prepares it's retrieving updated de definition from the server and uh, we will we will be verifying whether this user id is a uh, foreign key or not by looking at the uh, definition that will be generated over here tsql command So guys you can see the table definition here, here we can uh, go down, we can scroll down a bit. You can also see here user id is uh, foreign key but uh, even then if you want to verify more you can come here and you can uh, clearly view that the foreign key uh, is being added via the users table id primary key on to the student tables user id field so that's it guys for this tutorial uh, forgets it have a great day